Hi everyone, it's Tina here from Angels Morning Call, and today we have a special guest all the way from Los Angeles. It's Mari. Hello. And on our program of Angels Morning Call, we learn Master Ryuho Okawa's teachings, which are for every type of people, every nationality, every race, and every religious background. And Mari, we're so happy to have you here you. today. Um, and some of our viewers might be、um, thinking they've seen you on our program before. Was that you? I wonder why. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> That's my twin sister. Your twin、Lisa. sister,、yes. Lisa.、Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, you guys look alike. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh well, we're so happy to have you here. Thank you so much. And you're all the way here from Los Angeles、yes. today. Wow, lucky. Very excited. Great. And you're both a staff of Happy Science.、Yes. That's amazing. You've got to tell us the story later. <laughs> But today, Mari is here to help us to learn about the teaching of love.、Mm-hmm. And last time we learned that love is one of the four principles of happiness there's love, wisdom, self reflection, and progress. And today, we're going to learn that. Love is one of the conditions to get into heaven, right? Yes. So, in the last episode,、uh, we learned about the condition for entering heaven. And it's not about taking love, but for example, you know, I want people to give love.、Um, please pay attention to me, understand me. We all feel that sometimes. But、uh, to enter the heaven, the condition is、uh, to live a life of love that gives. We need to, re- it's important to wish for the happiness of others. Yeah,、right? that's great. Wish for the happiness of others、yes. and celebrate the happiness of others.、Yes. Uh, yeah, and so today we're going to learn more about love has stages of development. Yes, I never heard of having stages of love development. I know,、yes. I know. That you can actually improve your love and go up different stages. Master Okawa teaches that there's four stages、mm-hmm. so there's fundamental love, then spiritually nurturing love. Then forgiving love, and finally, love incarnate. So let's learn more from Master Okawa's lecture. The first stage is the fundamental love, which is to love your neighbors. It is the love for family, friends, or others you meet, which may appear to be the minimum level of love. However, mastering this love is the entrance to heaven. And it is a very wide Dharma gate. Therefore, practice fundamental love. The next is nurturing love, which can be practiced based on the right state of mind for entering heaven. This reveals a sterner side to love and requires wisdom to practice. It is the love of the teacher or leader. For example, For school teachers, love is not only to spoil the children, right? Teachers need to admonish and correct them at an appropriate timing that unless they make an effort, the path to their future will remain closed. So, nurturing love requires wisdom and it combines gentleness and strictness in the necessary degrees. If you achieve such kind of level, you can become an excellent leader in this world. Moreover, there is forgiving love, that is a much deeper form of love in a religious sense. But if you are concerned about your ego or the self that's separate from others, you cannot go beyond nurturing love. It is when you reach a higher spiritual state that you will realize yourself being you. But not actually you. You will feel that you are living within the hand of God or Buddha. Furthermore, you will realize that your existence is like being a finger of His hand and living in this world. You will gradually sense that while you are yourself, you are also something different. You realize you are to carry out God's mission and that you are a part of His will. As you develop this profound view on life, you can see things with a sense of compassion. You will be moved that all living things are undergoing spiritual training in this world. You can discern the light of goodness and their Buddha nature even to those who may appear evil. You will understand that although they possess a divinity within, they are now suffering for wrongdoings. 
because of the mistaken ways of thinking or mistakes in their hearts. Attaining such a state of mind, you will find love and compassion and help the divinity to shine forth. Even if others find it difficult to love these people, you will come to love them for their Buddha nature, for the light of Buddha that is in them. The sublime stage of love incarnate is the love of the Nyorai that many people at this moment don't have to worry about. Please first practice the fundamental love, nurturing love and forgiving love. Wow, thank you, Master Okawa. That was great. How was it? Yeah, such developmental stages of love have never been heard before, no. right? This is unique to have these. Yes, yes. And I felt like, you know, we can enlarge our capacity of love as yeah. we learn this. That's mm. right. And as we um, enlarge our capacity of love, mm -hmm. we can go up the stages, yes. the layers, the, the levels of heaven. So there's a development of love there to the stages, right? Yeah, Let's learn it. Let's mm. take a look at the map of the spirit world. You can see heaven here. And here on fifth dimension, this realm of goodness here, this is fundamental love is practiced, like love that gives. Right. And then sixth dimension, world of light, this is um, Spiritually nurturing love. Spiritually nurturing yes. love. That's it. Spiritually nurturing love. The love of leaders. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we go up to the seventh dimension, and that is love of angels. Love of angels. <laughs> and, <laughs> and bodhisattva. And bodhisattva. And, and that's forgiving love. Yes. And then we go up to the eighth and ninth dimension, and here, the highest level of heaven, we have love incarnate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Master Okawa explained that above fundamental love, there is spiritually nurturing love. Mm -hmm. And here, uh, it's called the laws of happiness. And here, Master explains about this. Uh, let me read it. Nurturing love. This is a love one stage above the state of mind that has already entered heaven. There is a stern aspect to this love, and it requires the use of wisdom. This love that combines kindness with sternness through wisdom is nurturing love. If you are able to reach this stage of love, you will become a splendid leader in the earthly sense. Mm, that's interesting. It seems really important when you're, say, at work and you're training new employees, mm -hmm. or when you're raising children, yes. you would need spiritually nurturing love. Yes. Oh, so it's a kind of com combination of wisdom mm -hmm. and patience mm -hmm to let people grow and mm. nurture them. Yes, very interesting. Yeah. And the next level is forgiving love, mm. is a love that further increases religious sense. Mm. And it is the love of an angel in Christianity and a love of Bodhisattva in Buddhism. Mm. Um, and I realized that the idea of the developmental stages of love is a teaching that can be understood by, you know, people beyond any re religious differences. Mm, that's mm. true, that's true. Because like we learned in a previous episode, we are spiritual beings mm. and re we are reborn many times yes. to refine our souls. And one of the ways we can refine our souls is to increase our capacity to love, yes. nurture and forgive others. Mm. Become an angel like you are. <laughs> <Boy Sandra. laughs> and I think that's really what Lord God El Kantari wants us to do to yes. improve our love for people. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. God's view is so grand, but I think we can start from you know, giving love to the people close to us. That's right. right. Family members, friends, co-workers. That's right. Mm. Even just giving love, if we start there, yes. that would change this world. Yes. <laughs> and then let's aim for, to go up the developmental stages of love. So one by one, like going up the stairs and this world would become a wonderful place. Yes. So Mato Kao's lecture today is from this book, The Laws of Happiness. Um, we highly recommend this book. Uh, it teaches the basic teaching of happy science. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yes. Thank you. Thank yeah, you thank so you. much for coming today. Well, thank you for so having me. To see. <laughs> and then on our next episode, um, let's learn about wisdom. wisdom. See you next time.